Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, it's been a while, but I'm back and here is my February uh, setup and I'm going for a tea theme, which you could have already uh, tell from the title, I guess, and from the sketch on the page. Um, anyway, I found this very cute looking um, teapot on Pinterest and I decided to turn that into this month's theme. So I'm using both my um, normal watercolors as well as my gold uh, watercolors to add some really cool details and I really love the, the shimmer of it. Now I'm adding in a nice um, reddish wash and um, later on I kind of regretted not adding more shade to this cup so later on um, after having filmed the video I added some shading with a marker um, but it looked a little bit too purple for my taste because I didn't have a very nice uh, pink marker for this. Um, I mean right now it still looks pink and in the video you won't see it looking purple but like I said, I do make it look purple at the end, which I don't think the, the color looks great together with the teapot, but at least the shading is better. Um, but again, I kind of wish I just made the shading with the watercolors. Anyway, um, <laughs> to fill in the teapot, I just again used my watercolors and I made some pink um, strawberry shaped figures. Um, I wasn't sure if I actually wanted to make them into strawberries or not. I just kind of left them in this shape and I think it looks really cute as well. Um, and I used green to make this these leafy details which I think look, looks really nice together with the pink. And then I also added some uh, shading to the teapot using just a little of grey and uh, brown I believe and then lots of water to not make it too dark. And then I added in um, the smoke, or not the smoke, the steam, uh, which is a lot for a cup of tea, but let's just pretend it's a steaming hot cup of tea. And then in that smoke, um, I wrote February. You'll see me do it later, um, which I think looks really nice. And to make everything stand out just a little bit more, I added some line art with a very fine uh, fine liner. I think it's a 05 um, Unipin fine liner. And that was it for the cover page, so on to the next spread, which is going to be the monthly overview as well as the mood tracker. And uh, on the left I made uh, teeth being splashed into a cup, um, <laughs> which I think looks really, really nice. And I initially wanted to use actual tea to make all of the, uh, you know, brown colors, uh, but I forgot for some reason to make the tea. And I do think that maybe if I actually had used actual tea, it perhaps wouldn't have looked as dark as I would have wanted to. So in the end, it's, it's fine that I use my um, watercolors, but it would have been really cool if I made all of this with actual tea.
And as you can see, each uh, day of the week is a teacup, which I think is really cute. And then on the bottom right, I made a tea bag and the tag says Fab from February, of course. And like I said earlier, this is also going to be my mood tracker. So I just made a little uh, legend and I'm just going to, going to color in each box according to my mood, like I always do. On to the next uh, page, which is going to be my expense tracker. And I just wrote out the title um, in this, again, this gold watercolor, which I think looks very, very fancy. Um, and. It took a while to, to actually write it out because I used a very small brush, which was a little bit hard to control, but I did manage to get it down eventually. I somehow managed to make two um, plus in uh, yeah two plus columns instead of a plus and a minus, which I didn't notice until actually editing this video. Um, I did change it later on, but um, sorry, you're just gonna have to see the two pluses. <laughs> anyway, on the right there is um, a to-do list for the upcoming weeks. Normally I um, include those uh, in the weeklies themselves, but I wanted to make different kinds of um, weekly spreads than I normally do, because I was just getting so tired of the same layout that I always do. Um, so first of all, I made a um, layout that has six boxes and then the sixth box is uh, divided into two to make seven in total. And then I can use my watercolors to make it look as if there's tea on the background and it looks really messy and I really like that as if somebody kind of spilled tea all over it. Um, and I even added some, uh, some splashes to it. And then on the right, I used my ruler to kind of juxtapose that messiness on the left. And I made, again, uh, six rows. And then the sixth row is divided into two again. And to add a little bit of color, I added this um, piece of washi tape, which I think looks really, really beautiful. Anyway, let's go to the next week. Very simple again, I just made six, or actually seven boxes. Um, I didn't use a ruler because I like how messy that looks. Um, and I used different shades of brown to match the tea theme. And then on the right, which is probably my favorite weekly spread, um, I just made seven boxes and I had two spaces left over, kind of. So um, in that space, I drew a cup of tea and then also used my watercolors again to uh, color it in. And so it looks as if this cup is like underneath um, the daily boxes. <laughs> and I really like how that looks. Anyway, here's the final flip through. I love it. <laughs> I'm really happy with it. Um, I hope you enjoyed it as well. If you did, leave a like and a comment. Uh, maybe subscribe if you want to, of course. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!